Abdullah, Abdullah gave away his Hall of Fame ring publicly yeah. because he said, that's all they're going to give me. Yeah. He wanted more. Now you gave Very it away, selfish. not as an insult to WWE, you needed money. I didn't give it away, I sold it. Yeah, you sold I it. sold it to a gentleman in England to help buy anti-rejection medications for my liver. Right. I needed a liver transplant and I needed to keep that liver, I needed to keep my body from rejecting it and it cost money. Right. Just like you're finding out, oh, yeah. it costs a lot of money uh, to, to, to uh, have your medication. You can't work as much. You can't medicine. work as much. You, you, I mean, you, you can't work because of all exactly. you got diabetes, you take insulin injections, right. you got a heart condition, right. arterial right. fibrillation. Yeah, yeah. Atrial fibrillation. Actually, yep. uh, going to see your heart doctor later today. Right, right. Um, you had a lung infection that yes. killed you. Yes, yes, double pneumonia. Your new liver is in the cirrhosis phase. It's, it's in the cirrhosis um, when you had your uh, phase. Your last transplant, it was also in the cirrhosis phase. Right. So I mean, you got a multitude of health problems. Yes, and I it's do. Expensive to live. It's, yes. And you got all the normal problems here, like yeah, yeah of course, okay. exactly. So the whole thing was, you were proud of being in the Hall of Fame, and the reason you yes. asked to be taken out of the WWE Hall of Fame was not because you were bitter. It was because you couldn't understand why they were putting Abdullah the Butcher in the Hall of Fame when they have a no blood policy, when the macho man Randy Savage is not in the Hall of Fame. Of all people. And it's like, why would you put Abdullah the Butcher in before the macho man Randy Savage, who sold out Madison Square Garden many oh, times, man. is a legend in WWE wrestling. Right. Not just right. independence. Right, right. And truly actually helped build the WWE absolutely in the 80s yes and yes in the 90s, so yes yes you, you so that was my problem was was the no blood policy of the WWE and then inducting the biggest blood leech in the world of pro wrestling and and knowing and them knowing his background they're not stupid and the uh, uh, Triple H and, and Vince and, and the whole staff and the whole uh, 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 all the folks who work uh, work there I mean they know Abdul the butcher uh, has to cut himself and his opponents almost in every match like yeah. you say that he has a chance and they know that history and why not, induct yeah. why induct him into your Hall of Fame when you have a no blood policy you're it's on contradictory. it's very contradictory and it really upset me because I caught hepatitis C from from the share of Colby, I almost died still from it. Suffering severe health you know, I'm, Yes, I'm still <laughs> having, uh, and I'm 10 years out post yeah. liver transplant. I had to have a liver transplant. Yeah. You know, thank God you're not going to have to have a liver transplant because you're going to, you're yeah. on your yeah. will, uh, well on your way to being cured of hepatitis C, but as hell that you've been going through. And so that was the yeah. that was the only there's reason. No it's taken years off my life, no matter even if I get yeah. cured. Yeah. There's years that have been yeah. taken off my yeah. life. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so that's my big issue and of you, wanting out of the Hall of Fame.